What's going on YouTube? It's ready to go back to another video. And today we're not going to showcase out all the glitches that are working solo, but not really solo, but some of them is not solo, but some of them are. I'm gonna show you a little bit of glitches that are still working after past what six eight. I feel like these glitches, some of these glitches are gonna get patched when the new DLC drops. So make sure you do these glitches before it gets patched. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. We are so close to 4,000 subscribers. And let's get straight to the video. Let's go. Alright guys, this first glitch I'm going to showcase out is the revolver glitch. Which you can shoot the revolver like a minigun. It's super easy y'all. All you need to do, the requirement for this video. All you need is a revolver. Any revolver, doesn't really matter. You cannot use a pistol. You got to be a first person. All you need to do now for the first step. You need to hold the weapon wheel and R2 at the exact same time. As you can see, there's a failed attempt. You need to hold R2 first, and then, as you can see, there's a failed attempt right there. If you fail, just reload to six bullets. You got to be in first person. You got to make sure your character is aiming the gun at the sky. Once you do that, you're going to have to hold your hold R2 and the weapon wheel at the exact same time. Let go of the shooting button, which is R2. And the weapon will at the exact same time. You need to keep shooting until the last bullet. As you can see, I'm going to shoot it on my cop car. Boom. Midgun. Boom. Super easy, y'all. I'm going to show you all this is an easy method. It's not that hard to do. There's a one, two, three. If you're having trouble to do this, I'm going to show you all once again. All you need to do, make sure you hold R2 to aim and the weapon wheel at the exact same time. And you need to keep shooting until the last single bullet. You can use any revolver. You cannot use any pistols. It got to be a revolver. As you can see, I'm using a different one. This is the gold one now. I think this is the Caillou one, the Caillou Perico. You got to make sure your gun is looking up in the sky. Aim. Like sh the shooting button, which is R2, and the weapon will at the exact same time. You're going to keep shooting until the last bullet. Boom. That's easy, y'all. But let's get on to the next glitch, y'all. Let's go. I got this is not really a little glitch, but if you need these cop cars or these slow slam vans right here or the LD organics, whatever vehicles you need, just let me know in the comments and I'll pass it over. But I'm going to showcase you this little method right here. This is not really a glitch. People have been saying how to get rid of the takeover. If you own it, I'm going to showcase you how to do it. As you can see, I own the takeover. I'm about to purchase the takeover. I'm going to showcase you one, two, three. This is a super easy guy, how to remove it. As you can see, I'm inside my takeover. I just purchased it just now. As you can see, I'm running. I'm going to show you how this is not clickbait, none of that. I'm going to show you how to get it right back. As you can see, this is my takeover. I'm going to run back outside. What you need to do, if you own the takeover, just, you know, go back to LS Car Meet, and I'm going to show you how to re remove it. Once you back inside LS Carmi, as you can see, I'm pressing right on the D-pad. Says takeover is on. I'm gonna show you out. This is this is super easy, y'all. As you can see, it's on. I'm gonna press circle on this alert right here. All you need to do, once you you know have the takeover on, all you need to do, go to the interaction menu. Once you're in the interaction menu, click on LS Carmi. You're gonna go scroll down to, until you see. Test track access and takeover access. All you need to do, you could go right or left. You could do either or. Once you go one to the left on test track access and one to the left in the takeover access, press X. Do the same thing again. Press X on both of them. Switch it. Do it again for a third time. And do it one more time just to be cautious. Switch it one time and then press X, go back to the takeover and boom, as you can see, I got the takeover again. I got to purchase the takeover. That's how you get rid of the takeover. But let's get on to the next glitch, y'all. All right, guys, this next glitch is, I don't know, this is the launch glitch, I guess. I'm going to just call it the launch glitch. All you need to do, this requires a tow door. You need to drive your tow door to LS Carmi. You need to press right on D-pad. As soon as you try to get close to the door, just hold right on D-pad to do the sub mode. You're going to drive in your car, of course, like a regular personal vehicle. It's going to spawn inside the LS Carmi just like this. 
If you got your card just like this, that means you've done it correctly. If you didn't, just try it again. Just press right on D-pad and drive at the same time towards the door. And from here, just make your way towards the airport, whatever ramp you feel like you need to use. Once you get close to the ramp, drive into the ramp, hold right on D-pad, and you should keep boosting up in the air. Should be easy, y'all. You can fly anywhere. You can continue doing this, but, you know, I don't know how to use the tour door. With the launching in the air, that's super bad, but you could keep using the boost no matter what. If you hold, if you press right on D-pad to stop it, you're going to have to retry it again. If you don't press right on D-pad, you leave this car just like this. The car will keep refilling the boost no matter what the game thinks you're going to think. But this is the next glitch, y'all. This is the OTR. This is still working after the past 168. A lot of people have been saying this is patched, but this is completely cap. It's not patched. All you need to do, make sure if you are new gen, just change your graphic mode to fidelity. You need to own a vehicle warehouse. The, the way you could get a vehicle warehouse, you need to go to your office and go on the computer. It's going to say vehicle warehouse. And then from there, you know, and make sure you have a RAM buggy to do this because you need a RAM buggy and a vehicle warehouse to be able to do this. As you can see, this one was a failed attempt, but I'm going to showcase y'all how to do this super easy, y'all. I, I did this on my second try. I don't, I don't know how I did it, but you know I've been doing this for a while now. As you can see, the doors is completely open. If you see the doors is open, you need to retry it again. But I'm going to showcase y'all this is completely 100% still working. Just change your graphic mode to fidelity if you're on new gen. You can either do it close by the door or you could do it far away. Do it up to whatever is comfortable for you as you can do it right here. You can do it here. Or you could do it way back over here. I'm going to showcase out right here. You could do it way back here if you want. Whatever is comfortable for you. For me, I best do it like where the, the little metal plate is on the floor. As soon as someone leaves the lobby, hold down a D-pad. As soon as you get close to the, the door, just let go. Stay on alert for like maybe one or two seconds back out of the alert make sure you back up your vehicle just a little bit and then do the bogging right away not quick but you know start a bogging you're gonna stay stuck in the sky for two and a half minutes once you get stuck in the sky for two and a half minutes that means you've done it correctly it's gonna spawn you inside your facility once it spawns you in the facility you're gonna see the doors are completely closed that means you've done it correctly all you need to do now you need to just go to the pause menu, go to online, then rocks are created, and do a stunt race or a regular race. It doesn't really matter. You can use the same race I'm using in this video right here. As soon as the race starts up, not the fully race starts up, but the race menu, all you just do, just back out right away. Don't hesitate. Don't wait there for like two minutes, maybe three. Don't, don't do that. Just back out right away. Boom, as you can see, I'm OTR at the same location. This is super easy, y'all. After you OTR, you can change the graphic mode back to how it was. You could change it back to Performance RT. And from here, you can receive any vehicle you want, but you cannot receive a tank or training bombs or stuff like that. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. We are super close, but I'll see you on the next one, y'all. Peace.